Good morning, gentlemen. It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. Uh, hope you all are well today. It is a Tuesday. Champions League is on today, but that's not really what we're going to be full on talking about because the Champions League cards don't even have a lot of hype on them right now. Um, I will look through them today and talk about them in this market watch, but we're not going to go crazy uh, looking at every single aspect of them and everything like that. Um, overnight, I sold 12 cards, which is awesome. Um, a lot of team of the group stage De Gea's. Before I went to sleep, like... Uh, or some of you guys might call it live De Gea, even though, guys, I want to let you guys know. To the guys that watch my video, please. All right, these cards are not live, okay? They're not. They're not live. Okay, so please. Um, but anyways, I sold three of these overnight at 295 which is really, really nice. Um, and I bought all of them at, like, a I got a late night bid at, like, 260 259 and then the others I got at, like, 270 So that was some good profit. We're moving our way up the leaderboards, and right now I'm working on flipping some of these. Now, this didn't go too well. I bought this at 160. I bought the other Alderweireld at 150. Ribery, I bought at 115. Uh, Bonucci, I bought at 68. Muller, I bought at 69. And then Pulisic, I bought at 176. So, I mean, I'm not even making money on Pulisic. Um, this didn't go too well. What I did do yesterday, guys, was I tried something out when the SPC, uh, there was an SPC that came out yesterday, boys, for a 50,000 coin pack. It cost about 8K. And everyone did it. So I was like, okay, the cards are going to get supplied on the market, which hadn't been a thing. A lot of them all weekend didn't get supplied. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up um, some deals. So I did pick up some deals, right? Like I got that one. And then there's a few that I overpaid on. So I have probably still like eight to 10 of these festival cards or carnival cards still on my transfer list that I probably overpaid for a little bit. Oh, maybe a little bit more. No, we have like 20. So we've got to start to weed through those, maybe 25, 30. We've got to start to weed through those guys because... I am a little scared that at 1 o'clock today, we are going to get another kind of uh, so, something something similar to what we just got. So I am a little nervous about that. Um, other than that, we've got men of the matches going out of packs tonight. Morega, Rashford, um, those kind of cards are going to go out of packs. What uh, happened yesterday on the market, guys, was, I don't know if you guys saw, but we did get, uh, I don't think I made a video in the afternoon about it, but we got Bonaventura. Uh, and so what this does, right, is this cause, let me pull it up. This card is 100,000 coins. Uh, I don't recommend doing this. I, I'm not a huge fan. But what it did do uh, was it caused a ton of Serie A uh, midfielders to go down in value. And I think I saw it last night. When I was on stream, I think I specifically saw it in Milinkovic Savage. I don't know if I should have bought or not. Let me see. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. And it, and you can see it right there. Savage is down at 63K. That's very low for Savage. Um, it's a very, very, very low point for him. He is usually always in the 70 to 8. And even recently, he's actually been like 85 at rewards time. What I do want to see as well is, did this affect Raja Nangolan? Um, not really. There's one on the market. What's the price of it? 180? It's not really. No, nah, it doesn't seem like it's really affected him. I mean, yeah, he's down a little. Um, and there's open bids and all. So that's actually a good telling sign usually for some panic. Um, that there, When there is open bids, guys, there, there is panic. I can, I can understand if you guys think there's panic. Um, so what can you expect today on FIFA Ultimate Team? Um, you Today is USA, I believe. No, today is Argentina. So you could expect a some kind of flashback. Obviously, no, a, a festival probably. I don't know who it's going to be. I was thinking maybe Mascherano, but I, I, I really don't know who they're going to make it. And then I think it's going to be Zanetti. I don't think they're going to go out and do Maradona. So the gold market today is going to depend all on what SBC gets released here. If it's a good SBC, um, the golds could go up a bit. I'm not expecting any crazy movement today. I think the next biggest time you'll see some crazy movement is for Spain or Germany. Um, that's potentially when you get a popular uh, duo tandem of players. Like if they bring out Lothar Mateus and, oh God, I don't know, just a, like a, like some kind of flashback German player that's in a top league that maybe like a maybe flashback like Boateng. You know, or something like that. Like, that would make Gold's rocket, in my opinion. Or for Spain, if they did something along the lines of that. I mean, Puyol's not going to make Gold's rocket, obviously. But um, it could. So that's what I'm talking about. And, and Carnival cards. <clears throat> a lot of you have been saying, Nick, can you make a video talking about these cards? So here's the deal with these cards. It's going to keep it short and sweet. Very rare. Very in demand. That's what these cards are. They are very, very rare. If you guys go into the store... And you look at the pack drop percentage, it's very low. Which means, what does that mean? When I, when I open a 100k pack, the pack drop percentage is 2%. Something like that, 2.5%. For once the watch, guys, it was like 10%. So it shows you how rare the card is going to be according to the percentage. Now, EA could drop them on the market, I don't know. But according to the percentage, these cards would be rarer um, than other cards. So it does make sense to me. Um, wow, there's an Immobile at 252. 
So I, I think you look for every day a trend of these getting low. But I will tell you this, guys. They were they were going up at night um, in the first few days. But recently, like last night, they didn't go up at all. And I'm wondering if that's because of the supply yesterday. If not only did they not have a chance to recover, but they just really, because they're not as rare anymore, they didn't go up. What I would say about these cards is that I'm not sure if they're going to go up too much in price because of foot birthday. And that's potentially going to be on Friday. That We're looking at like that's going to be on Friday. Um, I'm not positive when that is, but that should be on Friday. So I, I don't know if they, they have the potential to go up after a new promo. I feel like when a new promo comes out, I feel like all the eyes on the market are going to kind of switch to that new promo. And that's usually what happens. It's all about the new. Um, in my opinion, that's that's usually what you guys end up seeing. Um, this is going to be one of your last few days to pick up any Team of the Week cards. You will see a little bit of a rise in these heading into rewards, in my opinion, this week. Um, so I think you're going to see potentially Lewandowski rise up to 500 at rewards. Van Dyke could go to the 550, things like that. I think that's something to look out for. Um, I wanted to talk really quickly to you guys about Team of the Years because they're getting shattered in price. I don't know if you guys have seen, um, but Team of the Years are almost... Oh, wow, hold on a second. So... Yeah, the market is low. And I think the way, guys, you guys, I think this is a market that you can't invest in. You have to trade in this market and you have to almost be buying the bottom and then re like waiting for the trend up and then going back. You know what I'm saying? Like like Pogba, did, Pogba was up at 740 last night, but it's not like you could have bought it at 710 and held for a week and he's going to 770. No, now he's 698. So it seems to me like that's the kind of market that we're in. It's like that kind of market that you're just going to have to kind of like keep buying the bottom, listing higher. And yeah, it, it really, this market is not, it's not looking amazing. I mean, if I'm looking all around at prices, it's pretty low. Um, I do think you're going to see a spike in some specific players for qualifiers. I wanted to talk about that with you guys today. We talked about that in the upload yesterday. Um, no, man. The, yeah, the market's hella low, dude. And and guys, look, I bought, I bought last night a Bentecourt at 390, at 380. At 380, I bought a Bentecourt. To flip overnight at 4 415 i think it was let me see his price i mean yeah i the market's not hot man he's still 400 wow that's not great guys i mean the market is definitely definitely low let me why is phil foden 160k <clears throat> let me take a look at that because he was 170 yesterday is he is he really 160k no nah, that got bought i was about to say that is very very low 168 Gentlemen, I was like, I smell some panic. Now, something that was really interesting that I do want to mention today that's actually relevant. Um, I'm going to talk about that in one sec. Foden, let me see this right now. 160. So, something that happened today that's actually very, very interesting and cool to see. Uh, when the SBC came out yesterday, I actually bought three of this guy at 130K. And I was able to sell him for 148. And the reason why he went up so much, guys, was because he has a perfect link to Bonaventura. Uh, it's a perfect link. And what is a perfect link? It means once you guys get those two players in a team together, you don't need anybody else for chemistry on those guys. So it was interesting to see that. Uh, Cutrone also went up a lot. This guy was 250 and now he's 275, 270. And that's the same thing. It's another perfect link. So a lot of people are using maybe a, a perfect link. Maybe they're converting this guy to center mid and playing him with Bonaventure. But it's another perfect link. And it's, it's interesting to see that. Um, it, it is. It's interesting to see that, guys. Because it shows you that, yes, people are playing with these SPC cards. And so whatever does come out, there is stuff around it that will will rise up. Um, and that's good for you to see, man. That, that means that there's activity on the market um, and that we've got things going on. I do want to take a look at Team of the Years today because I know a Team of the Years are a very hot topic. Um, a lot of people have been asking about Team of the Years, and so I will take a look at Team of the Years. Um, one second, though, because we have to look. Oh, we got to take a look at Lives today, too. Where is Fanta Suarez? Can I get a, can I get a price check, please? Where is Fanta Suarez? Is he off the market again? I can't even find Fanta Suarez. Where the hell is Fanta Suarez, guys? Is he on the market? Let me see. We're going to go min bin 700. Bro, where is this card? There's only one on the market? Two on the market. What's the price? 930? 835. Oh, he's pretty low. 835. Wow. Okay. Um, makes sense. So we'll take a look at lives in one sec. I know that's a big topic today, and I know a lot of you guys want to look at them, so I'm, I'm getting there. Um, let's pull up the squad. So Champions League is today. Um... Not a lot of price movements with a lot of these players. I have to be honest. The only one that stands out to me that's really, really going up is Sterling. Sterling seems to be gathering that hype because people do want to play with his next upgrade. It really seems like, for me, the Champions League hype has kind of died on these cards. I do think there's movement available if, like, Juventus wins the game today. Quadrado, or, or tomorrow or today. I don't know if they're playing, when they're playing. Like, Quadrado and Costa will fly. I wouldn't buy into them before. But I just think that a lot of people were buying into the Champions League cards before because there was no content on FIFA. 
And so I think that led a lot of people to just kind of be bored with the game. And they were just trading with these cards and gambling on games. I, I really do. I, I don't think these cards are going to move a ton this week. Or we're either going to get back in the Champions League. And it's going to be full throttle because everyone's like, oh my god, Champions League is on. And everyone's going to start buying into these cards. So it's one of, it's one of the two... Of, one of those two situations is going to happen. Actually, to be fair, Douglas Costa is going up a ton. That's actually up a lot. He was 250, and now he's 293. So people are buying into that card right now, and Quadrado's up a bit as well. So that is interesting to see. So some people are taking the risk on the game today. And Felipe Luis... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this card is not worth 115K. What in the heck? All right, so you guys have the opportunity to take the money on a lot of these cards right now. If you guys are watching my upload and you do own one of these cards, I would consider taking the money. These are up a fair amount today. Some of them. The ones, it looks like the ones that are playing today are going up, which is good. It's good to get back to that trend of the cards going up in the hype of game day. That's how it should be. They should be going up on game days. That, that's, in my opinion, how it should be. So, CR7, 7 7.8. That was 7.2 on Friday during the panic. But the rest of the team of the years, honestly, guys, have not recovered at all from the panic. Um, all these team of the years are pretty much the same price as the panic on Friday, which tells me that the market is broke as hell. And it tells me as well that nobody's buying Team of the Year's right now. Everybody's probably focusing on these new promo cards, Carnivals, um, if not Future Stars as well. Because these cards are all very low. And in a normal market, Madrid should be 3 mil, Conte be 2-4, De Bruyne be 2-3-5, Ronaldo be 8-2, 8-3, Mbappe would be 4.2, Messi would be 4.6, Ramos would be like 2.2, 2.3, Marcelo would be 1.2, like Varane would be in the 1.6s, Van Dijk would be in the 1.5s, De Gea would be in like 900, and Neymar would be like 5.5. Five, five. So... All these cards are significantly down, and I don't like them heading into Flip Birthday. I, I don't like them heading into another promo. I don't like them for the rest of the year. I think Team of the Season is going to be in about a month, and I think with all that stuff going on, these cards are just going to get drained out for the rest of the year. I really do think so, guys. I, I, I'm not in love with Team of the Year, so if you do have them in your team, you just got to like kind of like take like a, like a real like analysis of like, am I okay with losing some coins? Because I'm not expecting those to go up that high for the rest of the year. Guys, thanks for watching the Market Watch video today. I have a ton of videos coming for you guys today. Uh, so stay tuned on the channel for a lot of new stuff coming. Second channel as well, we have another video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace.